guys and welcome to my channel and to today's video. Um, so today I'm just going to do a little tutorial on how I transform my little brows into nice fluffy brows. Um, I did actually film this the other day and it went horribly wrong because that's just the way it goes sometimes so yeah I'm gonna do it again. So just to start with I would always recommend doing this before you put any makeup on your face just because the the glue that I use to actually stick my brows up uh, you do need to like wipe it off before you go ahead and apply foundation um I mean you can probably try and get away with doing it after foundation but you just will need to wipe and then reapply and I just think that sometimes looks a bit patchy so just go in with a nice bare face and do your brows first and then you can go ahead and put the rest of your makeup on after so yeah to do my brows I basically just use three products so to stick them up I use the Schwarzkopf got to be glued gel so you can get this anywhere in like Boots, Superdrug, um, the cheapest place I've found it is in Home Bargains it was about £2 and this honestly lasts forever uh, and it's the best thing I've used to actually stick my brows up. Um, the uh, the actual products I use, so I use the MAC Eyebrow Styler in the uh, shade Spiked. I absolutely love this pencil by the way, it's, it's, it's such a good pencil. Um, but you can just use the Anastasia Dip Brow if you want, you don't need the pencil because the Dip Brow does what the pencil does. It's just I like to kind of use both. Um, so yeah, so you just want to start by getting a clean spoolie and you just want to get like a generous amount of the gel on it you're not going to need all that you will end up wiping most of it away but it's just to make sure that you do oh yeah you're definitely not going to need all that actually that's too much but you do want a fair amount and it's just to make sure that you cover each and every hair so just go through and brush them upwards So when I'm brushing my hairs upwards, I like to brush them up on a slant, if that makes sense. I know that like laminated brows are really big at the minute and some girls like to, and guys like to push them right up, um, but that just doesn't suit me. So I like to have like a semi laminated look, if that makes sense. And I just like to brush them to the side on an angle and then just kind of come over and just stroke them downwards. So this is the difference at the moment, obviously I've made my brows already look a lot fuller. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and mimic the same to the other brow before we start to add some of the product. So both of the brows are now stuck up with the product. As you start to feel them dry, like obviously not when they are dry, but as you start to feel them drying, you can just go through again with the brush and just really set them in place because now that the glue is like super tacky, you can really just move the brow hairs around exactly where you want them and make sure they're flat to your head. Um, and then once this dries, they literally will not move all day. I would recommend using an oil cleanser by the way to get them off because they do dry literally rock hard and it is quite hard to get off. So just to make sure you're not pulling any natural brow hairs out, just grab a oil cleanser. So the one I love using, this is filthy, so sorry, is the simple hydrating, oh, hydrating cleansing oil. So you just literally need a tiny amount of that and rub it on and it will just release the brow hairs. So yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, so now I'm going to take my MAC brow pencil and I'm going to just draw a line underneath. This is pretty much all I use this for. I will just very gently go in and just fill some of the sparse areas with this. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and draw my line. As you'll see, I do take the line quite far in towards my nose because I overplucked when I was younger and 
my brows don't come in as far as I'd like them to so that's why I draw that in quite a bit further but you'll see at the end that it all comes together. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and drawn the line for my brows. Um, I absolutely love this pencil by the way, like you literally don't have to press very hard at all, you just press very lightly and it comes out which is so nice. And also it works if you've got, more, like my skin's moisturised at the minute so it is a tiny bit greasy. So with some pencils I find they don't work well if you've got a bit greasy skin. Um, but yeah, this one works on dry skin or freshly moisturised oily skin. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. So I'm now just going to take this pencil very gently and just fill some of those slightly sparse brow sparse patches in. You don't want to take this too far up so you see where your natural hairs are now spiked. You don't want to take the product up to that point because that's when they start to look cakey and horrible. So just make sure you're only filling in at the base of the brow, if that makes sense. Right, so this is where we are at so far. Um, the reason I didn't take the pencil up too far is just to keep these looking as natural as possible. Um, so yeah, the last step is to take the dip brow and I love using the Anastasia number no. 18 brow brush to go with it. It's like the thinnest brow brush I've ever used. Um, I have just noticed in the last week or so actually, I've had this brush for years, probably like two or three years and it's only now starting to fray just a tiny bit so I could probably do with getting a new one um, but if you want to keep your brushes like as tight as possible just get a tiny bit of glue of the lash glue and just really pull the bristles together and it just keeps them nice and tight so you get like really thin hair strokes so anyway um, just taking that brush you just want to get a little bit of the product on it don't overload your brush whatever you do because then you will get cakey hair strokes so once you've got a nice thin amount on the brush you're then just going to go into those inner corners and just create some really realistic brow hair strokes Okay, so I've now filled in the front of my brows. This one turned out a lot better than that one. I must have had just a tiny bit too much product, but when doesn't that happen? Like I've always got one brow looking better than the other. Um, so now what you can do with the dip brow is just load your brush, well not load, but put a little bit of product on your brush again, and you can take this up towards the end of the brow. So not the pencil, but these little hair strokes you can take up to the ends just to create a bit more of a fluffy brow. Okay, so this is the finished look for the brows. So with the um, brush and the pomade, I just added a few little hair strokes, especially towards the ends where my brows are sparse. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. I'm now gonna go and add the rest of my makeup and pop some concealer underneath my eyebrows just so you can see what it looks like when it all comes together. Okay guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Um, I was going to go for more of a natural look, but I decided to film a little TikTok tutorial. Um, but like brows like this, I think they just, I actually prefer them with natural makeup actually. Um, but I do feel like you can wear these sort of brows with natural makeup or with glam makeup. 
Um, so yeah, this is kind of my go-to brows. So yeah, I hope the video has been helpful. If you've got any questions or anything, please just let me know below. Um, please do check me out on TikTok and Instagram because I post loads of mini tutorials and reviews. And do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.